You're giving me the lesson in how to uh, pronounce the name of this, but could we just talk a little bit about what's it like to be with Warren Buffett and to uh, do the private jet aviation thing with him? Well, you know what, I'll tell you, in my life I never imagined that I'd be sitting in Las Vegas at a poker table with Warren Buffett. Um, I never imagined I'd be sitting in his office in Omaha with my partner Kenny Dichter uh, discussing our business. Marquee Tell him Jet. about Marquee Jet. Oh, I mean, well, Marquee Jet was a business that myself and my partner started, Kenny Dichter, Jesse Itzler, and myself, and a few other guys. And uh, we partnered with NetJets, with uh, Berkshire Hathaway, and we built a business uh, to almost $800 million in revenue selling the Marquee Jet card, which we sold to Berkshire in 2010. Uh, dream come true for a guy like me and my partners where we, most of us came from nothing. Uh, still feel like we came from nothing, which is a good thing. And uh, dream come true, which led me to creating Tequila Avion. All right, so the dream comes true, but you're not content. You've got to go back into your own personal history. You worked in the spirits, in the distillery business uh, for the Seagram's organization, the Bronfman's. Exactly. How did you want to reconnect to that? You know, it's really, it's an amazing kind of thing how life comes full circle. And, uh, you know, for most people it does. I actually, out of college, I have an accounting degree. Uh, I worked for the Gallo Winery for Ernest Gallo first for two years. I got my Gallo MBA, Ernest as they call Julio it. Ernest and Julio Gallo. Ernest and Julio. And a uh, great, great company. And then I got what I call the brass ring job working for Seagram, the Bronfman family, which where I came from, that was a womb to tomb kind of hope uh, that you'd start there and you would die there. Uh, and uh, it was an amazing experience and I ran the beverage business for the company and then the company was sold. Uh, and that's what led to uh, the Marquee experience for me and uh, starting Marquee Jet. But being in the industry, in the, in the wine and spirits industry, it's when you have that in your blood, uh, that consumer packaged goods business and the fun of being in the wine and spirits industry, it's great to come back to it and that's why I pursued my dream, which was to create the best tequila in the world. Tell us about Avion. Um, Avion is obviously a, is a tequila. Um, but why did you start with the tequila? Uh, because did it's probably, like it? because I'm insane. Okay. Uh, it's probably the hardest spirit to create uh, because the agave plant takes seven to ten years to grow. Um, there are very few players in the space that actually succeed in the wine and spirits industry, but tequila, especially ultra premium tequila, it's very hard to break through like with any brand, but it's very hard to break through. But I love tequila, and I always loved tequila. Even when there wasn't good tequila, I was a tequila guy. Um, so when I made a decision uh, to work on creating the best tequila in the world, being Avion, it was that moment for me that I basically said, I want to pursue my dream. Um, and I understood tequila. I understood the wine and spirits industry. So I was an insider, even though at Marquis Jet I had left. But I had the experience, and my partner, Jenna Fagnan, who worked for LVMH, running Don Perignon, who you have interviewed, uh, we got together, and we basically Put went this for it. Together. And tell, it, us it, what you, tell us what you brought so people can learn a little bit about what you're actually making. Great, great. Uh, you know, Avion, obviously, the, the tequila comes from the agave plant. Right. Uh, what we do with Avion, I like to call us, in business, you, to where, you hear the word inefficiency okay. is not a good thing. No. When you make tequila and you want to make the best, inefficiency is a great thing from my perspective as a founder of a company because you don't cut corners you don't worry about what it costs to make you just use the best okay the best glass the best agave the best distilling process um, everything about it has to be right and being inefficient is a good thing for the consumer because you're delivering a luxury product a high-end ultra premium so product. what is the high-end luxury product like this cost uh, a bottle of avion silver costs roughly forty to forty five dollars okay um, and if you think about it it takes about almost ten years to get a bottle of silver to get this liquid in this bottle, it took 10 years between the agave plant going in the ground to it being distilled and put in this bottle. Uh, our reposado okay. takes, uh, we age for six months in American oak barrels. Mm -hmm. um, our, our Avion Añejo, we age for two years in American oak barrels. And Avion Espresso, we created, which is a blend of Italian espresso that we press at the distillery and we blend it with Avion How's that doing? Uh, it's doing very well. And, and for me, this was sort of a risk because as a purist in tequila, to do something like I know, flavor. doctoring it up, my goodness. That, yeah. You know, I want to give you time to move on to something that you brought here called Avion Reserva 44. 44. What, yeah. what is this? This is sort of the pinnacle. You know, for me, this is. Um, uh, when I first took Avignon Silver, which, by the way, won Best Tequila and Best White Spirit in the world, uh, we age it. And this uh, Avignon Reserva 44, we took the silver, we put it in the barrels, and it was in the barrels uh, for 44 months. Um, it's incredibly special. We actually put it into a crystal bottle. Um, and you said and that this is the kind of thing where if you like uh, whiskey, if you like uh, single malt whiskeys or, or, or scotch, this is the kind of thing that will just connect with you. This is, you know, if you love tequila and you're an aficionado, 
this is it. I'll right. be on 44. If you don't love tequila, you should try this because it's as good as any fine Let's go do that.